In Morocco, an artist is drawing attention on the Me Too campaign using comic arts. A dozen students join forces with Zena Fasiki, a partner in comics and illustration, to depict women's real-life ordeals. Recently, we created this series, Me Too Tana, because it is a project that illustrates real stories of rape of Moroccan women. And I had the honor to execute it with Moroccan artists who are very talented women and men. Tana Mitu is part of the whole project that we have launched at Georgia of liberation of women's speech. However, the liberation of women's speech does not mean visibility for the women, as they want to remain anonymous for the simple reason that they were all victims of rape and are afraid to testify openly out of fear of reprisals. As part of the series, Ta'ana, meaning Me Too in Moroccan Arabic dialect, the artist illustrated the harrowing tales of a 22-year-old woman who was for years raped by her brother to the indifference of her parents. I have been proud of my feminism since I was 14. But I have been proud of it artistically since I was 20, I think. In fact, I consider myself an artist because that's a neologism that means being both an artist and an activist. So I am glad that art has become a tool for political and social change. Unlike the broader Me Too movement, Moroccan women who have agreed to share their stories for the campaign have preferred to remain anonymous.